Well, this is Mrs. Schmidt's house. You remember on my list of errands, I told you that was one of the stops. She is well known for her award-winning vegetable preserves. Her sweet pickles win awards every time at the fair. I do hope she's home. She's supposed to have a jar for me. Ah, uh, Mr. Schmidt, you're home. I brought some folks with me here. I've been telling them about your award-winning preserves. You do have my sweet pickles? I do indeed. Can you sit a spell? Well, maybe we could stay for a little bit. Well, come right on in. Well, I am glad that you folks came in, and, and Mr. Mayor, it's good to see you again. I, I do have your pickles ready if you uh, want to take them with you later. I was just sitting here thinking about my garden and thinking about spring, and I'm anxious to get out into my garden. And I've got some really nice recipes here out of my White House cookbook. Oh, my goodness. Do you know that my herb garden this year, oh, it wintered so well. And I have so many beautiful, wonderful herbs, not just for medicinal purposes, which I do have those, but I have some for teas, and I have lots of them that I can cook with. Well, Mr. Bates, over at the pharmacy, he always orders uh, a pretty large order of herbs throughout the summer. Do you know that Mr. Smith, his uh, uh, apprentice or whatever it is, he works over there too? He doesn't like my herbs. He likes that patent medicine stuff. Oh my goodness, I don't trust it. You know another thing I was talking with the ladies uh, here in the village, and Mr. Mayor, I know you like the new things, but it's that electricity stuff. We have several businesses here, as you well know, uh, that have the electricity. They have those electric light things hanging down from the ceiling. I don't trust it. I've read what electricity can do. Oh my goodness, it's, it's quite frightening. And what if it leaks out of the wall? You can't clean it up, you can't see it. I trust my kerosene lamps here. If I spill kerosene, I can see it and I can clean it up. I also, I looked in the Sears catalog to see if they had something that would, like a mop to clean up electricity. Well, they didn't. Mr. Wiley at the Emporium. He didn't even know what I was talking about. So no, thank you. I will stick with my kerosene and my candles. Yes, indeed. Oh, Mr. Mayor, I want to remind you not to drive that horrible contraption around when my chickens are out. It scares them something fierce and it's smelly. All right, I know you have to go. Well, good day to you all, and, and we'll talk later. Good day, Mrs. Schmidt, and thank you for the uh, sweet pickles. You are quite welcome. What ingredients could be in the pharmacist's patent medicines? What are some of your favorite herbs? Has electricity ever leaked out of your walls? On his last stop, the mayor finally gets to the bottom of the village's biggest gossip. What's going on with the pharmacist's patent medicines? Find out next time on Gossip Tour.